that somehow a piece of bread is your God. This is a message and a warning to my Catholic brothers and sisters. The Holy Eucharist, Sunday Mass. <laughs> In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Name of the Father, in the name of the Son, the upside down cross. It doesn't look cooked to me, but anything to do. What does a piece of bread have anything to do with God? Whatever they put it in, however they make it, it has nothing to do with God. Nothing. But they say it's the blood, divinity, and soul, and body and of Jesus Christ. It has nothing to do with the creator of the universe. It may have something to do with their God. Don't know what their God is or who their God is. It's a piece of bread baked without salt. A tasteless piece of bread. The Holy Eucharist is nothing, is nothing more than a bits of flour without salt in it. I open pray that all of this ritualistic stuff, drinking, wine, eating, piece of white bread without salt in it, doesn't taste good at all. It, it can do nothing for you. You're wasting your time. It has everything to do with man and the customs and the practices of men of old. Handed down to the Greeks and the Greeks handed down to the Romans. And if the they keep elevating these things and holding up these things as important, as somehow a piece of bread is your God. Somehow a piece of bread encompass all the powers of the universe. Somehow a piece of bread encompass the blood, soul, and divinity of your God. Whatever that is, a piece of bread that becomes flesh and dwell among men. A piece of bread that they eat on Sunday in the Mass. A piece of bread without salt. If a piece of bread without salt is your God, then your God is tasteless. Your God ain't got no salt. And salt is the flavor of the earth. If that's your God, if that's who you think your God is, so God help you. This represents your God, then I can't help you. And nobody can help you. It's not my God, it's nobody else's God. It's just your God. Your God is for you and your Lord. I hope my Catholic brothers and sisters who are listening to this will look at it and think to themselves, how can a piece of bread encompass the whole power of the universe? How can a piece of bread is God? How can a piece of bread become God? How can a piece of bread be my God? I hope they ask themselves the question, to what do I pray and worship and adore in Eucharistic adoration every day? For hours, you're adoring a piece of bread because somebody tell you to do so. Right. You're no different from the Hindus that worship the cows. You don't worship the, the rat, you worship the monkey. They're no different from idolaters. You're no different from the Buddhists who worship a big fat rock shaped in the image of a man with a large stomach. You don't even dare touch it and put it on your tongue. That's how precious this piece of bread made with all salt is to you. A piece of bread cannot save you. And I urge my Catholic brothers and sisters, change from your sinful, idolatrous ways and return back to the part of righteousness and holiness and form that strong spiritual umbilical connection to your creator. The priest can't help you. The pope can't help you. Your, your nuns can't help you. The, the imams, the rabbi, the pastors, the bishop, you have to find that connection to your creator for yourself. So Salvation is something you want to have to have. And forming your relationship or devotion to a piece of bread is not going to help you. You're wasting your time. You all made a grace of our creator. Keep and bless us always. I've done my best. I can do no more. But I'll keep trying. See you after this.